There are 9 million pet dogs in Britain today, but did you know that your animal could be bringing deadly diseases into your home? A TB, Viles disease and food poisoning, all conditions uh, which can be fatal. And that little pet pooch could be to blame, especially if you lick its face like that. Look at Jane's about to vomit. <laughs> that, that dog has been licking some other dog's bottom. <laughs> Allegedly. I, I just... <laughs> allegedly. I just find, I, you know, I, lo I love my dog, but he's a dog. And I, I, I think cos one of my oldest friends is blind in one eye and partially sighted in the other, and it's from a bug or a parasite that she got from their dog when she was a child. And so that's always stuck in my mind. So with my children, every morning my 11-year-old comes down and gets in the dog basket with the dog <laughs> to give him a cuddle. Oh. But if ever I see her anywhere near his face, I'm paranoid because, you know, so many things can be passed on. Tapeworms and what were the other things? Uh, roundworms, tuberculosis, round tapeworms. It's a great big list you know, here. Yeah, yeah, food poisoning. Lyme disease, which is really, really crippling. Yeah. I mean, really bad. Actually, the, one of the stories in our family, my, my mum was brought up on a farm in Northern Ireland, and she used to tell the story of having a tapeworm, which they reckon she got from some of the dogs on the farm. And I won't describe how the tapeworm eventually gets out. But I have to tell you, they, they can grow uh, to many, many feet inside your body. But then, you see, I have to say, I was very like Jane. A, I didn't particularly want a dog originally. I was beaten down by, by Jack. And then when I agreed to it, I was, remember coming home, we got her from the Dogs Trust, and we were driving home, and Jack was saying, oh, she's so lovely. I went, right, here are the rules. It's a dog. She's got her cage downstairs. That's where she sleeps. She does not go upstairs, and she certainly does not go on the bed, OK? Skip forward a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Maggie Aww. in Jack's bed where she sleeps every night, like that, <laughs> under the duvet with her head oh, on the you pillow. Want that, like, please. That. Well, no, because I do, I think, you know, there's a bit of responsible pet owning has to go on yeah. as well. So I have her regularly, you know, the dose oh, with the stuff for fleas. Oh, my children have had more fleas than the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do kiss her. I don't let her lick my face. Well, you see. But I kiss her. Occasionally yes. she, she gets one and gets me, but yeah. mostly I. No, I've. Because, you know, I've adopted little Mika, yes. my little three legged friend. And um, so, of course, she's that dog. She gets all excited and she licks you. But I have put an absolute. There is to be no French kissing ever. No, <laughs> no tongues. No tongues. <laughs> I don't like that on the old mouth. So. Oh. My cheeks, and even then, I'm like, yeah. I must admit, I do. I, I sometimes have uh, cavaliers, two little cavaliers, and they're adorable. And they don't go in the bed, and they do stay downstairs to sleep. But I do some say to one of them, take a, give me a kiss, and so she kind of licks me here. But my dog sitter, she always says, that dog, a bit like you, has been licking fox's oh, poo or something yeah, outside. <laughs> and so don't do it. Listen, they're before you all start, before you all. start, like not going anywhere near your dog, they sound like a bit of a disaster area. Um, vets say that all these things, or most of these diseases, can be prevented with vaccinations, spot on medications, and common sense. Always wash your hands, etc. And it does say that um, the dogs are very good for your health as well. Yes, they are. They, they, are. Stress. they are very, yes. very much so. so Maggie, just don't kiss just them. Stay under the duvet. <laughs> just don't kiss them, yeah, especially French <laughs> kissing, like Colleen said. <laughs>